Uh, how, tell us about the video that you, you, you got, My Soldier's Prayer. It, or, this, or you don't tell them after we pray it. Well, I, could, I can, uh, I can kind of give them a, a little heads up about it. Okay. With. This is a song that, that I wrote and recorded uh, a couple of years ago, and it's a, a tribute to the uh, fallen soldier. And, uh, and at the time I wrote it because there, there were songs out that were talking about the war and let's go over there and fight and, you know, and, and beat them up and come back. But there was nothing uh, that I knew about that uh, was a, a tribute to the ones that went over there and didn't come back. So this is the reason I wrote this song. It's probably uh, one of the simplest songs I've ever written in my life, but it's gotten a lot of attention uh, all over the world. Uh, you know, I get emails, and, and we'll read some of them afterwards okay. if you want to, that are just, okay. just heartbreaking and, and humbling. So, Holly, if you got it ready, let's play the video. Is freedom worth the price they pay? Ask a soldier, here's what he'll say, I'll proudly die for you, my friend, though he don't know you, you don't know him, say it's their job, but it's more than that, they go to work, some don't come back. That's why I pray to the Lord up there Lord, listen to my soldier prayer If I should die before the war is over Lord, let my soul remain here on earth Save heaven for the fallen soul gates they open wide when I get there I'll step aside and proudly stand till the last one's in say welcome home my fallen friend so if someone asks And I give back those soldiers' lives. No, I can't, but this I swear. On bended knees, my soldier prayer. If I should die before the war is over, Lord, let my soul remain here on. I know this is a strange request. In fact, it may be one you've never heard. But if you'll give me a minute, I'll try and explain. As you know, our soldiers fight and die every day for the sake of freedom. And that's one debt that just cannot go unpaid. I believe all our soldiers have earned their share of heaven. So if you would, and if you have time, please make sure there's a mansion for each and every one. And Lord, if you need one more, well, just give them mine. For they deserve to go home first. Dale, uh, when did you write this song? Uh, I think it was t in 2006, I believe mm -hmm. it was. Uh, and, uh, and, and a little, a little, if I got a second of it, little history behind the writing of it. Uh, there was a, a, a club in uh, Wetumpka, Alabama that we played pretty regular, BFW. Mm -hmm. And we would go there at least once or twice a month. And, uh, and, and there was a time when a couple that was coming out and see us quite a bit. They, I was walking by their uh, table one, one night and they said, uh, hey Dale, said, uh, do, you, do you do any patriotic songs? And I said, well, uh, not really. I said, but there's one I'm working on. And I just had the chorus of the song. 
So I sang it to them, you know, just a cappella right there at their table. And, and from then on, every time they we would come back, they'd be there and asking me, have you finished that song yet? Mm -hmm. You know, and I, you know, it was a simple song, but I just didn't see the impact it would have. So I told my wife, we were, we were scheduled to go back up there. So I told Robin, I said, baby, I said, we got to, you got to help me finish writing this song because then people are worrying me to death mm -hmm. about this, you know. So so we finished, uh, we, we wrote it, and uh, that night at the show, the band hadn't even heard it. So uh, they were, we went on breaks. So I went back on the stage with just, just me and a guitar, and I said, I want to do this song I just wrote. And I sang it, and it was just amazing that the whole club, everything just stopped. Uh, everybody was playing pool, whatever, then they stopped and turned towards the stage. Uh, the veterans in the club lined up at the stage and, and was, was saluting. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, just the tears, you know, the impact it had on people. They were crying and upset, and I said, you know, this is, you know, this is, this is amazing. So we went into the studio and recorded it. And uh, it's, it's getting quite a bit of attention uh, all over the world. Yeah, I noticed you had lots of hits on YouTube. I, I saw it on there. Yeah. Need to go to a break. We're going to be right back, so y'all stay with us, please. back. I'm Calvin Fraud, and our guest today is Dave Petillo and Dave Boswell, and we're talking some with Dale as we go along about a uh, song he's written. He fixed that real quick, didn't he? Oh, what? <laughs> 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 it's okay, Dave and Dave, but yeah. that's all right. That's all right. Well, I'm trying to see if y'all yeah. can. <laughs> <laughs> I fix things up both ways pretty quick, <laughs> yeah. We've probably yeah. both been called worse. Right, right. Worse. But anyway, uh, Dale, you have, you, the, 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 the event coming up is Music Barbecue at Hog Bottom. How did you get into doing this? Well, again, you know, I've was involved with the House of Heroes and right. we were always looking ways to, to raise right. money. And I happen to know a number of musicians that aren't necessarily good at a, you know, wielding a hammer or raising a paintbrush or a roller or a uh -huh. lawnmower, so, but they're good at me playing music. So uh, I started making some calls and before you know it, we, uh, we, we got a crowd. In fact, okay. This year we got 16 bands lined up yeah. playing. Yeah, this is April the 30th and uh, it's Saturday, April the 30th. That's mm -hmm. two weeks from this That's Saturday. Right. That's right. And, uh, Yes, you do. You got Stroke and Dixie, which is yeah, Dale's band. band. It's, it's great too. It's a great place. Y'all really need to uh, yeah. check that out. It's awesome atmosphere. Just out in the country, laid back, and, uh, and we've been honored to play it the last two or three years. Yeah, it's been third year, I think. Yeah, third year. Uh, he's got a group called the Grave Robbers, Donald Dixon, Fiddler Blues Band, uh, Buddy Harden Band, Cat Reed, Jimmy Hendrix, and the Big Fun. Wild Wood Bluegrass. What? What? I didn't get that right. Y'all want to play? I got it. 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 You yeah, all won't turn away. But anyway, this, this, uh, if all, uh, all the donations do benefit the House of Heroes, so it's certainly a good thing. And where is it? It's in Fort Mitchell, Alabama. It's about 12 miles south on Highway 165. Uh, if you mm -hmm. need directions, you, uh, you can go to our website, hogbottom.com. Mm -hmm. If you type in your address, it'll print you out a map. It's that easy right. to find. So, so just Google hogbottom.com hogbottom and you'll find it. And, uh, but that's Saturday, April the 30th. What time does it start? Um, we kick off at noon that day, and it goes to about nine or so at night. Well, uh, what does this mean, the barbecue service? Y'all going to have a service for we, the barbecue? We have barbecue. A prayer service. <laughs> prayer service for the barbecue. Yeah. And this starts around 3 o'clock, so you serve yeah, barbecue. We, we do. And it, 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 is the barbecue for sale or what? Again, we ask for donations. $5 okay. a plate. Uh, of course, we'll take a little more if you like. But That's uh, right. Uh, we'll so, have everybody to uh -huh. eat and not go away hungry. Who's doing the barbecue? I have a good friend, uh, Matthew Housen. He's our uh, head chef, mm -hmm. and uh, last year he showed up about 11 o'clock Friday night to start cooking. Mm -hmm. He cooked all night long, and uh, you don't know Matthew Housen. He also goes by Bullet E-Head, and E is for Esquire, by the way. He told me to say mm -hmm. that. Okay. But uh, mm -hmm. he's an outstanding cook, and my wife does all the fixings, and she mm -hmm. really does a good job. 
Uh, what kind of crowd do you usually have? We had around 350 folks last year, and oh, it rained right like the Dickens all morning in Columbus, uh -huh. and uh, didn't get a drop at Fort Mitchell, and not good. This will be our sixth year without rain. Well, well you got good weather well this year, too. We hope right. so. Yeah, right. I took the almanac. Yeah. It said no rain. Yeah, so. it says no rain. That almanac's right. It usually does. So five years in rain. Long. There you go. And also, folks, it's a good, good Saturday, a good way to spend your Saturday, a lot of good music.